and the punches of both are starting to show effect on his face. Oh, they want to look at it. We smell Quinones Palu wants to have a look at that cut. Where's the ring doctor? No, actually, uh, oh, that, they no, put they too, too much, much Vaseline. Vaseline. That's right, too much Vaseline. I thought maybe the cut was bigger than I had seen, but then I was wrong. Okay, let's go with Mousa coming back across the ring, seeing how much more punishment he can absorb. Koto will cut you up and beat you down. I'm surprised. I thought it would be a body, body shock night, though. But, it's, but the head's been so available for him, that's where he went, where he's gone. I still think it would be more effective to fight it. When a guy like Mouse would take such a good hard shot to the head, you got to work the body. Mouse is being dominated, obviously. Mouse? Body punches are very, very effective. And sometimes when you connect the right punch to the body, it's going to hurt more. And a head shot. Dodo throwing all kinds, throwing the kitchen sink at him inside there. Upper cuts and body shots and whatever else he could pick up. Yeah, I got Toto comfortably ahead, but uh, Mouse is still putting up a fight. You know? he's, he's trying. Combinations to the head. Mouse is still trying to throw, trying to throw uppercuts. Now Mouse is throwing body shot. Mouse wants to let it go. Toto's got to be smart in here. The man's a fighter, Mouse yeah, is. he is. Keeping up with both those pace there, actually beating him to the punch there a couple of times. I don't know if he's going to be able to take them punches. I mean, look at both of his uh, cheekbones are look cut to me. Both of them are cut now. Yeah. Swelling on both sides. I get the feeling that he's, that Koto would like to take him out, but... If he's getting bloodied and hamburgered and all the pieces, they might just stop it, but we got to run a little bit away from that. Fourth round sketch for 12, one minute left in the fourth. Koto's had to earn his money tonight. Yeah, this is definitely is a pushover for the young couple tonight. The young couple showing good movement, good patience. Mouse is showing a lot of blood to the right cheekbone and cut on the left cheekbone. And at the same time, Mouse is still uh, making them work. He's making them uh, both the work tonight. Yes, he is. Sometimes you get in the ring against these guys that give you difficulty and you don't really expect it. But Koto had some respect for this guy. He knew that he was undefeated. He knew what people were expecting of him. Mouse is trying to dig the body. Final 10 seconds of round four. Mouse is still throwing. Trying to land a big uppercut there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just swinging too wide. I mean, and Koto's capitalizing on that. Covering up the tower, coming up the middle. Right now, let's send it short. to uh, Bernie Asuna, who's standing by with Ivan Calderon. Successful de defense for Ivan the Iron Boy Calderon. You don't necessarily have to knock somebody out to impress the people. That's, that's what I always say. I got a good boxing. My boxing, everybody like it. I don't got no power, but I got a quick hands, and I can win a fight all 12 rounds. I'm the number one fighter of 12 rounds. And the best in Puerto Rico for now in this 105-pound division. There was a lot at stake, a lot of pride. Um, what was said after the fight? We, we obviously saw you two as gentlemen hug. Yeah, he said there was no problem. You know, a lot of talking, but this is part of the game. He fresh lit, friendship, everything's all right. I said, no problem, me too. Everything finished. Now we're friends. A lot of this man is going to be seen in the ring. 105 pounds of pure action. Back to ringside for this action. Koto Mausa. Thank you a lot, Bernardo Osuna. Mausa steps right to the center of the ring. He's ready to go. Now Koto is going to have to chop him down a little bit more. Round five. For Koto's going to take this fight tonight. The Apostle can take a punch. Oh, yes, he definitely can, but it's uh, definitely showing on his face. Again, Koto, uh, good defense, blocking a lot of punches with his arm, his gloves, tight, neat Goto, defense, elbows in. Koto says he plans to remain as active as he's been fighting every three or four months. That's a pretty good pace that he's got going here. Go 
Bell holding that right hand back. It's been his most effective punch. Had it loaded right up inside his head right there. Keeps moving Mouser around. Mouser continues to miss. Yeah, Cotto's definitely the stronger man here tonight. Stop a puncher, too. Mouser's looking to punch. Left hand just attacked Mouser. Mouser looks like he's trying to punch his own self out. And he's trying. He just keeps throwing and throwing. He's got to go, go, go for broke on him because look at his face. His face is really keeps getting worse and worse every round. And sooner or later, the doctor's going to see that and they're going to take a look at him. He can't afford to keep fighting. I'm looking at him. I mean, his face looks swollen. I don't think the doctor or uh, the referee is going to allow this. By the way, all you computer heads out there, Miguel Cotto has his own website. <laughs> www.miguelcoto.com It's on the back of his trunks. Mouse is shaking his head. I guess he wants to keep his neck loose. Mouse is trying an uppercut. Still throwing punches. Good jab from Coto. Coto said, I just go out there every day to do my job. One knockdown, Mouser went down once. And a big strong right hand. Nice look at yeah, he's setting that back, back in. He's setting, he's setting. A big punch. He's setting the table. He had yeah. three full body shots. Left his head exposed there. A good combination from Koto. Mouser wants to stay on the chair. Hard left hand. Stiff jab by Miguel Cotto. Oh, that body shot. Yeah, he said it. Yeah, he didn't like the body shot there. How much longer can Mouse to take this kind of punishment? Take a deep breath. Good, good. Hit the water. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> go inside and rip the body. Hey, and we'll go. Okay. Let's go to find out the left hand stance decision. Yeah. Landing with the overhand left. Now he's back to right hand. Nice jab. Nice there. little stiff jab by. Uh, Miguel Cotto. I don't think I don't think Mouse is going to be able to take this punishment. I mean, uh, he's taking some good punishment in this five rounds. And... Yeah, they're talking to him right now. Mouse has got a big heart, but not much talent. Yeah, he's going to end up getting hurt. Yeah. There's no need for a fighter to continue fighting that way. I mean, that's going to give him a little bit more rounds. I mean, it's, it's five rounds. If he doesn't do anything in the next two or three rounds, I will stop the fight. I mean, I, I got him losing every round. Yeah, he's, no, he's taking a beating. I mean, look at his face. He's taking a beating. Yeah, he's and, uh, a fighter with a lot of heart. But... Miguel Diaz, uh, cut man, said, uh, punch him in the body, we go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, see, he's throwing wildly. Mouse is throwing, uh, yeah, right in front of him. It's two hard punches, one right, one left. Referee's got to be looking in. This now Quinones Palu, one of the best referees in the world. Hard left hand. They might let it go for a little while, give the crowd a little more action. Body punches on the ground up from Koto. It's target practice now. Mouse is just about, it's a, a feeble effort when he throws oh, yeah, a punch. Just a spark match now for Miguel Koto. If I was Mouse's corner, I'd have a towel in my hand right now. I'm going to see a guy get hurt. Any other guy would have been down already. I didn't punch this. Guy's tough. Oh, good right hand across the top. He just waved it off and said, hit me some more. That's amazing. That was a hard punch. Very hard. Gotta be 
an easy way to make the paycheck. Good left jab. One minute left, round six. Miguel Cotto has not lost a round by any stretch of the imagination. He's almost got a 10-8 round going here. So back yeah, he's been winning every round very convincingly. Mouser hasn't hit the canvas for once. But uh, Mouser has no offense now. It's one of those fights that aren't that pretty, you know what I'm saying? It's just <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, one guy's uh, giving and the other guy's just taking. Right. I thought at first Mouser would put up a better fight, but uh, we've seen that Cotto's skills are a lot better than Mouser. Mouser swinging too loud, opening himself up too much. Combination jumps again to the head. That's a show of incredible resilience. I don't see anything encouraging to say the least out of the house going on here. 